Good morning, Scrappers and Crafters. Marcia here from Bugmark Creations. So this is um, number two of the beginning of the build of the mountain. Um, so today we are going to be doing plastering. Um, I'm going to be using these plaster strips. It's like a cast material. And I got some, my water ready. I've taken off my platform here and I've taken off my platform there. All the rest of this will get plastered. Um, so I'm going to just kind of go into it a little bit and then I will speed up the process um, or possibly just stop the process midway um, with you guys and then finish what I'm doing and then we'll get into the painting. All right. So first things first, I'm going to kind of cut your strips. I have about six different sizes um, to figure out where I want them. So on the water piece here, I'm going to want a full big strip, so I'm going to be using the bigger strips, these big fat strips here, to go over it and kind of hook it into here. Okay, so it is covered. It looks really good from far away. What the closer you get, you can see that down here it's pretty solid. But when you get over here, there's all these little lumps and bumps. And that's where the second layer will come in because then you can cover all of those lumps. So I got pretty much everything done up here. Um, there's a little hole still right there I gotta fill, but it looks pretty good. So, and I'm almost out of material, but um, I never, clean this out because there's all this silt you can kind of see it all this gooey silt and this is what it does is that you can put it right here and cover up some of those holes so i'm gonna go away and do as much as i can with that just to get some of it covered in some of the spots that i know definitely needs extra uh hold i only have <laughs> just a few little strips left so i do have to order some more i thought i had lots but apparently i don't I'll go away and I'll be right back with this and then we can start painting. Hi friends. So I am back with this. This is done. It has two layers of the um, material that we're using, the casting material, and it is 100% solid. It is hard everywhere. There's no soft spots. It's a few little holes here and there, but I'm not too concerned about that. So um, I've already kind of drawn on stuff because I was measuring for whatever and it didn't work out. So that's okay. Um, so I don't have spray paint. Normally you would spray paint it, um, but I'm going to use this marquee house paint. It is in what's called limousine leather, which is the blackest black you can get in paint stores. It's a really nice black color. And then I'll go over it with the grays um, to make it look more mountainous and everything. And then um, for the water, I'll be using these two colors to make it a nice water look for the little lake here and the little river here and then we'll get to the waterfall afterwards so i am going to crack on and do that hey guys okay so i am back it is completely done i just have left to do the waterfall which is going to be made out of um either water tax or um hot glue thinking i might just do hot glue which basically it's going to come here and just kind of hang down and splash down to here same with this one here i did paint this a little bit of blue just so it has a little bit of a background to it so i know where it was going um eventually it's going to look a little bit different once it's done obviously but i did want to show you this so i did mix those two colors with a tiny bit of black just to give this a darker kind of thing here and then i kind of made it so it looks a little lighter around the edges so dark pool and then same within the little river there I am going to make that a little different once this is dry. Um, and then did the cave. I did as much in that cave as I could to make it white. You 
can still see in there. There's still some white, but obviously I can't get my brush back there. So, but it looks really cute. Um, same with up here. I do have to go over fine detailing with like in here to kind of clean all this up, make it a little bit gray. Um, but I'm going to do that once I get the water effects on here just a little bit to make it glossy so I can wipe it off. Um, yeah, so that is kind of what my mountain looks like. I'm going to leave it for now. It's going to be probably a week or so before I can actually get to it to do the rest, the water and everything. So I will do the water part with you guys and then we will do the cleanup and everything afterwards. So again, I hope you guys enjoy this second installment and then we'll get on to the third part, which is the water. And I will show you kind of what it looks like with the buildings on just as a generalization so you can kind of see my idea. Then we'll get to the ski hill. All right, guys, thank you for watching. And I hope you guys continue on my journey with this and we'll talk to you later. Bye.